Good afternoon, my friends. Nice to be on here again. Hope you're all keeping really well. Thank you for all, all your comments and encouragement. Um, I have a few things to share, so I'll I won't waste any time because I don't want to take up to be too long in the video here. Um, the first thing is right. Well, I better give you the date. Twenty second of September, two thousand eighteen, is when I received these words. Um, it's the 26th of September today. And um, the first thing was I kind of had a picture that was kind of sitting in my mind for a few days and it was of two snakes and they were kind of hidden in the darkness. But I could see one um, was kind of restless and I could see, I could make out that there was a design on its back. So I'll read here what I said. The two snakes hidden in darkness. There is an alliance being made by two political leaders. One snake is was moving that I could see um, and he is getting restless and he had a distinct design on his back. And for me, that represents a strong character because I've had similar things before. Um, his design is only being seen dimly, which means I believe that he has shown his colours to some degree, but not completely. I, pers I, I think it's a Obama, that's what I have here in brackets. The other snake is very still and it ha he hasn't been revealed. I don't see any stripes on its back. So if you get any interpretation for that, do let me know. I just, um, that's what I, kept, I saw. Anyway, I asked the Lord, I have a word, sorry, from the Lord here. And I also have a word in regards to Israel as well. Uh, from the Lord which I'm going to share with you so I asked the Lord why did you choose Trump at this time if you have dis determined destruction for the USA he told me for the Christians and the nations to prepare it is a reprieve to allow people to prepare for what's coming so prepare Christians prepare this re reprieve is for you it is also an answer to your prayers, for our God is so merciful and tender to those of you who love him. This time is the answer to your prayers, so prepare for what's coming. <clears throat> Excuse me. Leave the cities. I believe God is saying, and I'm not mincing my words here, I write, write. Leave the cities while you can. If you can't, then prepare to have a place to go outside of the cities, in rural places. For example, the mountain areas or free from lights and people, uh, exposure to the enemy, basically. Flee, my people, flee from what's about to happen. I tell you, now is the time to flee and prepare for the terrible things that will happen on the earth. My heart breaks for what is about to unfold. Judas is about to strike my people. Get ready. My tears flow down. My heart is broken. I poured out my mercy for so long. I extended my mercy as much as I could. I answered your prayers, my people, but now I extend my warnings. Take heed, my beloved. The Lord shows me. She is corrupted from within. She is utterly corrupted. The heart of the US has been corrupted. That's why she cannot be healed. She will not return. She cannot return. Her heart is blackened and corrupted. So the mighty will fall. The mighty giant who influenced all the earth will fall. How great a fall, such a great fall, because it is a fall from such a great height. I will unleash my wrath against her. I will allow her enemy hordes to march across her borders. Her crash is imminent. The mighty has fallen, her glory diminished. The nations wail in unbelief. The peoples cry out at her her misfortunes. In staggering unbelief, they cry out and wail from every nation in the world. Even the nations that despised her shall weep for the dreadful destruction that befalls her. Her fall shall cause shockwaves across the whole earth. That's why I warn you, my people. That's why I cry out to you, my people. So you know, so you can prepare. My indignation has come. I will no longer bear your guilt nor your contempt. You slaughtered my children. How could you do such atrocities against me? 
How could you not understand that the day of my vengeance would fall on you? You spilt much blood on my land. How did you not think I would require it? <coughs> Excuse me. I required the blood of vengeance from my servant Abel. How did you not think I would require the blood of these innocent ones? So prepare to exit, my people. Prepare to exit. Have your locations prepared. My vengeance comes swiftly. You must prepare before the day arrives, my beloved. I prepare you, for I love you, my people. Anyone who turns to me, I will have mercy on them, for my mercies are new every morning. Great is my faithfulness, your Messiah Jesus. Um, I just have in brackets here, they, the enemy, are preparing, so you must prepare also. At the same time, trust me, trust me. Trust in me. Um, and I don't know if people know, but um, Russia um, was meeting for Koskov 2018. Um, I think that's what you call it anyway. It's like war games that they're preparing. And the, well, they had. Um, they were meeting for war games with China and Mongolia. And he had 300,000 troops there all meeting with um, their military with the ships and planes, war planes and everything. And I mean, I was just really struck by that because, you know, in one of the visions that I saw when I saw this massive army grouping together, um, it was just a huge army. And then there I am seeing this huge army, you know, come together like that. So, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's too, like, in your face, really, isn't it, you know? <laughs> um, anyway, so I got another, I got another two words here, which I will maybe do on another video, because it's kind of a bit long. Um, but, you know, things are, things are definitely heating up anyway, you know? Um... The hurricanes that have been going on, the turbulence. In one of my other videos when I was talking about darkness, the darkness coming, um, one of the words I had from the Lord, you know, I mentioned about turbulence in, in the sea and seeing world, world winds, you know, in the ocean and stuff. So I, I believe I was seeing hurricanes, actually. It was a massive hurricane. Um, so you can have a look at that in one of my former videos there about the darkness. So I'll I'll do another video following this anyway, um, to share my other word about Israel. Thank you. God bless you all. And um, please leave your comments as well. I love to hear all your comments. Thanks very much.